Hi, man, it's Peter, and here I'm going to talk about um, a basic rock improvisation concept. <laughs> so what is a basic rock improvisation concept? It's a very easy, like, uh, like first steps to get into rock improvisation using the minor pentatonics, in this case, the I, A minor pentatonics. <laughs> And depending on your technical abilities, you really can start to work up some really cool stuff without any theoretical knowledge. Only one little thing you need to know, this I'm going to show you now. Making basic rock improvisation, uh, you need to know at least uh, the minor pentatonics in one position. In this case, um, it's in A. So we start on the fifth fret and this is the root note here, the A. So, you play the A minor pentatonics just and, and when you practice it also learn the root notes and this is the only tech um, Get into a basic rock improvisation first of all you need to know the minor pentatonics at least in position number one in this case we take a minor pentatonics this starts in the fifth fret this is the root note and this is an important note because try to memorize the root note so root note here's again root note in the seventh and here's again root note in the fifth on the high e string now the basic rock improvisation concept says <laughs> it's my concept actually <coughs> that whatever you play you start on the root note and you end up on the root note let's see an example little lick very easy lick here start on the root note seven fifth seven slight bending go back to the root note this could be a lick which you created now or you can make it more complex you can move from run one root to the other so so we moved up from one root to the other root just moving up the pentatonics so root fifth seventh bending and fifth eight and here we are back on the root so let's see how this sounds with a backing track and with the real sound with some delay on it. First little lick we created. One, two, three, four. Again. Second lick. Isn't that stuff easy? Of course, you need a little bit of technical abilities that you can play that really nicely. So learn the basic techniques. What, what are the basic techniques? Vibrato. You can try to really work at the you, you make a, You move the whole hand very relaxed al around the note which we want. You can try to create a melody line with these pentatonics just with, with these vibrators and play to any backing track in A minor and like I do now and just create melody lines like this one, two, three, four Really practice to make proper vibrators and then you are able to create very nice melody lines. So now we have moving from root to root. 
we have vibrators and now we have the bendings. In position number one we have three essential bendings. We are bending here in the seventh fret. Really try practice how much pressure you need. Also try to practice bendings with vibrator. Go up till you have the note and then switch to vibrator. This one is the easier one, this one here. This one is the harder and the hardest is the highest. Practice how much pressure you need and then you can work out a solo only with the bendings. It's very nice actually. Now with these three elements, we are ready to create an entire solo um, with a very easy way, without knowing any licks, just moving from root to root, using bendings, vibrators, and just try to feel the music. That's the main thing. In uh, when you improvise, you need to feel what you play. So let's start it out. One, two, three, four. See how easy this stuff works. And if you know more positions, then it's actually the same. You move from root to root, add bendings, and you can jump around the positions, and then this stuff sounds starts to sound really cool. Now I show more advanced stuff, but still the basic improvisation calls. advanced song which you heard now at the end of this little tutorial was based on this basic improvisation concept moving from root to root adding bendings and that's it actually and the more advanced you get the more you can move around the whole fretboard you will notice that it always stay remains the same and you just move around the whole fretboard and then you add some licks and then you just sound how it should sound and that's the main thing. So enjoy your first steps and your journey to becoming a great rock guitar player. <laughs>